Alrighty, so I'm throwing together a quick video of these Nike SB Dunks, their collaboration with Boston-based boutique Concepts. I've had these for quite some time now, I've just been so busy and not very timely with the uploads, so we're finally getting around to it, and what better time than near Thanksgiving. If you're a fan of mine, be sure to follow me on Instagram at StuffDomeLikes for some quicker updates on, you know, pickups and other sneaker-related content. Unlike the traditional setup of my videos, we'll start in reverse order here with an on-foot look. So they come with two sets of laces. I hate the whole mismatch trend that's going on right now, but I have them done up like this because I can't decide which look I like better. I'm probably going to opt with the additional set of gold laces as it adds that extra pop of contrast, but that's just me. As for size, I definitely recommend going to your true shoe size. I'm a true 9.5, but these are in a size 10, mainly because it was the deal at hand. I would have much preferred a 9.5 and, and you could tell that there's a little bit of room at the toe. Comfort overall is pretty good relative to dunks. Note that these are an SB dunk, so they utilize the Zoom Air technology. So going from something like my Nike Sportswear Kentucky dunks, for example, to these, you definitely notice much more of a bounce in the heel. I figure there's no need to go on an in-depth review here as these released back in November of 2020, so about a year ago now, and there are plenty of content creators on YouTube that broke these sneakers down pretty nicely. In this video, I'm just giving my perspective and overall take on these shoes. So these are dubbed as the Turduncans or the Malliards as they draw inspiration from the signature holiday dish called the Turducken, which was made famous in the US by John Madden in the past and consists of a deboned chicken stuffed into a deboned duck, which is then stuffed into a deboned turkey. So a lot of meat going on there. Pause. When you really break down the sneaker, you could see inspiration of the three birds on here. And honestly, there have been so many sneaker publications that broke it down, so here's a quote exactly from, I actually don't know where I got this, but here's a quote that will describe it better than I ever will. Dressed in a rattan, parachute beige, orange chalk, and baroque brown color scheme, this Nike SB Dunk uses wild textures and shimmering details to mimic the look and feel of a male malleard duck. Plush leather on the quarter panel is textured like feathers, while fuzzy material near the heel imitates soft down. Doesn't make any sense, whatever. In addition, iridescent leather on the tongue and swoosh resembles a Malliard's colorful head and feathers. Concepts branding comes to life inside the shoe, with a scenic toil print on the insole and collar lining. So credit to wherever I found that, I don't exactly remember where, but I think that broke it down pretty nicely in the most concise way possible. Personally, I think Concepts knock this collaboration out of the park. I got my hands on the general release pair, but they also had some specialized packaging and goodies that came along with their release. And talking about the release real quick, these came in the Nike SB box, which is generally used for their more quick strike or specialized releases. I love the storytelling, inspiration, and concept, pun intended, on this pair. It's on brand with SB Dunks of the past, which take on a more creative medium. I have a bunch of themed SB Dunks in the collection, I'll pop in a playlist right now. Unfortunately, I missed out when they released back in November of 2020, so I picked them up for resale a few months ago, I think it was in May of 2021, at a local buy-sell trade shop here in New Jersey. Shout out to them, it's the Connect clothing store out in Montclair. Resale prices on these now isn't too bad. While I wouldn't recommend these as a daily shoe, I think it's more of that sneaker to pull out when Thanksgiving rolls around, and that's the case of these. Like I mentioned earlier, this should fittingly upload around Thanksgiving, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think of this pair in the comment section below. Is this something that you've picked up in the past or picked up recently? Is it something that you're rocking with or is this an easy pass for you? I'd love to read about it in the comment section below. Outside of that, be sure to follow me on social, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.